Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to solve angles that are missing using angles at a point. Angles at a point, as the name suggests, are angles that meet at a certain point. Their vertices all meet at a certain point and they make a full circle or a full turn when we add the angles together and they add up to 360 degrees. Let's see how it actually works. In this scenario here, we have a diagram and we have the angles, angle A, B, C and D. As you can see, angle A there, B, C and D, all together, they meet at a central point. That's why we call it angles at a point and they all add up to 360 degrees. They make a full turn, 360 degrees, meaning A, plus B, plus C, plus D, equals 360 degrees. So how are we going to use this to solve a missing angle using angles at a point? Let's see. Here we have three angles. An angle marked with an X, an angle marked with 120, and an angle marked with 130. All together, meeting at a point, hence they make angles at a point. Let's see how we're going to work out x using this rule. x equals to 360 degrees, which is the total minus 130 and minus 120. So we're going to take away the 130 here, and we're going to take away 120 here. So x is going to be 360, take away 130 and 120 is 250 degrees. So 360, take away 250, x is going to be 110 degrees. 360 is the total, take away 130 here, take away 120 here, x is going to be 110. What is our reason? We always have to write our reason. So, our reasoning angles at a point. Angles at a point. This is our reason. This is 110. Why? Angles at a point. This angle here, as you can see, is made up of four angles. One, two, three, and we have our 90 degrees there. So, we want to work out x. We know straight away these are angles at a point. They all meet at a central point. Very important to identify that. So we want to work out x. We show our working out. x is going to equal 360, which is the total. Take away 120. Take away another 120. And take away the 90 here. We're going to be left with x. So 360 is the total. Take away the 120, the other 120, and the 90. So 120, 120 make 240, plus 90, they make 330 degrees in total. We're going to take away this here. Take that there and take away that. All together, these are 330 degrees. So 360, take away 330. X is going to be 30 degrees. And of course, our reason. Okay. Angles at a point. Angles at a point. These are the four angles that all meet at a point. Take away 120, take away another 120. Take away 90, 360, take away all of those three angles, we're left with 30 degrees. So very straightforward as you can see. Move on to the last one. We're going to do the same setup, nothing different. If we follow the same setup, we'll never make a mistake. Let's go through and see how we're going to work this out. Again, we notice we have three angles here, an angle marked with an X, 
an angle marked with a 50, and an angle marked with a 240 degrees. This is, as you can see, a reflex angle. Very large angle. We're going to take away the reflex angle. We're going to take away the 50 to be left with x. We know the total is 360 degrees. Take away the angles that we don't need, which are the 50 and the 240 degrees. Take that away as well. We're going to be left with x. 50 and 240 is 290 degrees. So 360, take away 290 degrees. X must be 70 degrees. 70 degrees there, 50 there, 240 there, all together make 360. So we're going to say angles at a point. Angles at a point is the reason. Very important, our working out our answer and our reason, our working out our answer and our reason. Very critical that we set it up that way. You won't make a mistake and you'll get full marks in all the questions that you do. So remember, angles at a point always add up to 360 degrees. They make a full revolution.